we are here with Allie. We're going to go over some bench press techniques, some form work, and then some little, uh, little tricks on how to get some more weight up on the bar. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the setup. And the setup, we're going to start off with uh, where we're positioning ourselves on the bench. When Allie lies back, real simple kind of telltale sign is are the eyes lined under, underneath the bar. That's just so we're not hitting the rack on the way up. Next thing is the hand placement. And the hand placement for most females is going to be about a thumb distance from the knurling. And then from there, the real telltale we're looking for is at the bottom are the forearms vertical to the ground. And that's terrific. You can see how her forearms are vertical, straight up and down. Maybe flare those elbows out just a hair. Not quite something right there. That's exactly right. So at the bottom, we're looking for vertical forearms. At the bottom, we're also looking for that uh, the upper arm to have a 45 degree off of the torso. So let's do a rep, Allie. And back down. At the bottom, we know we're too close if those elbows are tucked into her side. Elbows tucked in the side, that would be too close. And likewise, the equally bad would be the elbows flared up to the side, which causes too much internal rotation through the shoulder and press back up. Excellent. The next thing, and probably even more important, is how we're setting up with the, on the bench with the shoulders. So we're looking to retract the shoulder blades back. You see how Allie, the scapula and the scapula are being pinched together, like she's pinching that pencil between her shoulder blades. She's going to do that as she gets on the bench. She's going to hold that through the entire range of motion. As she sets her shoulders back, it creates a mechanical advantage in the shoulder joint. It also puts a flat surface of her back on the flat surface of the bench instead of a round surface on a flat surface. And pressing up. You can see those vertical forearms. And one more time, Allie. Excellent. From there, she's going to rack it. The other thing we're going to talk about is during the range of motion, what we're trying to do. And during the range of motion, we're trying to externally rotate the shoulders. So just like when we squat, we're trying to externally rotate the knees through the hips to create a mechanical advantage and think about screwing your feet in the ground, we're going to do the same thing throughout the range of motion on the bench. So you're going to think about rotating your palms out. The bar's not going to move, it's not going to happen, but that's what you want to think about is externally rotating and on the way up is pulling the bar apart. And that's going to engage the triceps. Triceps are an elbow flexor, I'm sorry, elbow extensor. So we're going to overly get those guys overly involved by trying to pull the bar apart on the way up. So external rotation on the way down. There it is. On the way up, pulling the bar apart. You got it. Go get it, guys.